hello everyone so today i'm going to show you how to make the a message system work with moving targets now here you can see i have now released my camera and my mouse for a limited time my reticle uh, sticks to the target detected by the a message system so here now oh it's not moving let's see I have released but my reticle is following the enemy so like that so yeah and here I have defined a variable this a message stick duration I have set to five seconds for demonstration purposes but something like 0.5 would be more reasonable so only for a slight time it could stick with the enemy otherwise you will have to uh, uh, you if you want to stick it again you will have to resume on another character so yeah that's what i'm going to work on today and also i'm going to show you how to exclude dead characters and ally characters from the aim assist system so here you see even if i right click while looking generally towards dead enemies it's not locking onto dead enemy and i don't have any allies but that's also working okay so before we get started let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel from my patreon page once you become a member you can get access to all thousands of projects that i have done without any limitations so feel free to check it out and this is the full tutorial series that explains and implements everything you see in this shooter series from scratch so feel free to check them out i'll leave the links in description below i have been work on this project for over three years now maybe more than four years so yeah everything is here if you want to learn from scratch so okay now let's get back to today's tutorial right so right now here me if i do the aim assist you can see it's working it's uh, aiming towards the whatever the character closest to the reticle but if i enable moments so let me do that by enabling ai for these two guys i have currently i have disabled ai just to make them not move so here to process AI placed in auto spawn. Now they will start moving. So now my auto A message system doesn't work because they are moving. Okay. I initially get aim at them, but since they are moving, it's not really helpful. It's only helpful as long as they are not moving. So what I want to do is for a little while like let's say 0.5 seconds let's make the aiming to stick to the target stick to the auto aim target so how do we do that uh, okay for that i would need what i'm planning to do is in the take as long as i have a valid target for a certain vari variable that I store this uh, hit actor which I determine to get the auto aim uh, I'm gonna automatically aim towards that so first thing is I'll add a new variable aim as target it should be simple and I'll make it an actor 
Right. The next thing is, so I need to determine what actor that needs to be uh, the aim as it as its target. Uh, right now I'm not saving this reference, this hit actor, but I need to do that. But I don't want to directly set this aim as its target here because on in the middle while I'm determining I will have to keep the reference as well. So um, yeah let's have a local variable what local variable temp target and set it here oh wait not here I need to set it only here if that is the closest one so, yes. and at the end now I have the temp target uh, but uh, as I said I need to temporarily uh, set the aim as is target therefore let's add a new Event here. What should we call it? Set a um, assist target like this. Okay. Yeah. I'll get it. And then let's have a retriggerable delay. Oh, let's say point five seconds. We can, of course, promote this to a variable. I'll call it a um, assist stick duration. A stick to the target duration, but I don't want to make it too long. So value is point five. At the end, I'll set a um, assist target to none so basically i want to clear it so only for 0.5 seconds my aiming should stick with this target that's the idea here all right now where's the take oh it's here okay now here let's add a function first uh no let's get this get and convert to a validated get and then let's convert this to a function stick to uh game assist target okay Let's go into the function now we are doing this only if we have a valid reference for this ams is target now basically in the take what we need to do is just like we do it here i need to get uh, oh, this closest aim location i get it using this function but here we are giving this trace location with the line trace hit so right now i don't have it when i want to use it in the take in here so i'll let's find the closest point uh, along the forward direction of the character let's do something like this uh here get actor location first i need the distance to the target actor this ams is target and then get camera manager i'm considering the distance from the camera and get camera location 
right then find distance from the camera to that then i'll get get camera rotation get forward vector then let's multiply this with this value this distance value so basically this will give a point along the forward vector of the camera in the same distance as the distance to the character from the camera and i'm going to use that as the trace point for this get a um, no assist what's the function name get auto aim location okay get auto aim location now as the trace location i'm gonna give this away that's not enough i need to add uh, the camera location to this otherwise the location will not be correct okay now this is our auto aim location so here again i have the camera location point look at rotation from the camera to this assisted aim location and then get player controller so again this is something we should only do for player character so we will not set this unless this is the player character but anyway i'll let this check also this player controlled just to be safe set control rotation with this okay now if this is correct for 0.5 seconds my target should stick with whatever the aim assisted assisted uh, whatever the target detected by the aim assist system so let's see is it okay i'm not sure oh wait I don't think I call this call this set aim message target anywhere. Yeah, you need to call it here. Set aim assist target with this one. Temp target. If the temp target is invalid, then we would not have a valid one anyway. So no problem there. Contact. Yeah. Fire. See? It does work. Mm. But if you are not sure, we can increase this. Oh, let's define a category. So that variables related to aim assist are together and if i increase this let me increase this to like three seconds just for demonstration purposes you will see Enemy spotted. Okay. Um, i have released the mouse but mouse is moving with it following the enemy oh, i'm hitting the wall but yeah it's basically now working Fire! See? it's following the enemy okay so yeah let me put this back to 0.5 because i don't want the game to be too easy but 
feel free to play with these values and figure out what works best for you one more thing uh, i don't want the system to determine uh, consider dead enemies or allies for the aim assist so i'll take care of that here too uh, that two here Where, um, right here yeah. before we go into this is enemy we should already have team id This is my team ID, so I can compare with the enemy. This should be true. And also, he's alive. This thing I have already implemented interfaces, so because of that, it's, it's very easy for me to do these things. But in case you don't know what these are those are things that i have already worked on let me show you the implementation of these events mm. so this basically compares it's not in this class right here here it's basically compares if the team IDs of both characters are same or different. If they are different, they are enemies, otherwise they are not enemies. And similarly, what is alive does is, if it, it checks if the health value is larger than zero. If yes, alive, true, otherwise, false. So this, both of these has to be true in order to proceed okay so now this will fix against if uh, if there are uh, friendly so dead characters my ams system will not confuse them with those characters all right so that's all for today and thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patreon page and let me know if you have any questions uh, don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode let me know what else you guys would like to see in this aim assist system or whatever else you want to see in this shooter series so goodbye